One of our cameras, uh, we managed to record sharp-tailed grouse, which are the provincial bird, um, which is kind of unheard of in the city. They usually try to avoid um, city areas, so, uh, so that's pretty neat. Finding proof of sharp-tailed grouse in an urban setting was a surprise to Ryan Fisher. Over the past several months, Fisher has been setting up more than a dozen trail cameras and audio boxes all over Regina, recording wildlife moving in and out of the city. In most urban settings, the animals usually stick to the outskirts of town. But Fisher says Regina's layout is what makes this study interesting. We're kind of surrounded by uh, agricultural cropland matrix. In the city, there's lots of these big old trees. And so we were kind of curious whether or not that trend would still be the same as some of the other cities. Being close to farmland and with lots of parks means animals are thriving, including rabbits and Canada geese at Wiscana Lake. But when Fisher started combing through the photos, he was shocked to see what else was out there. At some of our sites that are what you would sort of describe as in the middle of Regina, we've seen deer and coyotes making use of those areas. We found raccoons on our camera, which is kind of interesting and something that we, uh, we didn't expect. Um, we also pick up some birds, which is kind of unusual. So little gray partridge, those little uh, pack of birds that you sometimes see running around neighborhoods. Some Regina residents were also surprised to hear there are raccoons living among us. I know that friends that live out in uh, Victoria, in, um, in BC, they are everywhere. So they know, they've seen them, but as a Saskatchewanite, I've never seen one. <laughs> yes, we had one in our backyard once. Uh, that's the only one I've ever seen in, in Regina. I saw one, lots of them in Toronto, but, but that's the only one I've ever seen that drove the cat crazy. No, I've never seen a raccoon. Are there ra raccoons? Ooh. There are raccoons. Holy, I don't like that. Fisher believes understanding wildlife patterns will help urban planners as the city expands, but it'll also help us monitor longer-term environmental impacts in the winter, in spring, summer, and fall, um, we'll hopefully be able to understand how the wildlife community is changing over time, potentially in response to climate change. Fisher says this is just the beginning of their research. This summer, he'll be also adding bat detectors to collect the critters' echolocation calls. Fiona Odlum, CBC News, Regina.